Thanks for watching this video. My name is Alfonsine Anderson. I am a part of the Enterprise Networking Team as a Technical Solutions Architect. This video covers the inventory enhancement that we added for the configuration of drift uh, feature in the Cisco DNA Center 2.3.2. The config drift management, which is part of the Cisco DNA Center NetOps persona or network operations, was first introduced in the Cisco DNA Center release 2.2.2. In this release, we added the ability to see historic, historical config changes over time and be able to compare any two config versions on the same device and their running config data. So what's new in 2.3.2? We have added the ability to see if the changes were made in or out of a band. Out of a band changes, meaning uh, the changes that were made directly on the device uh, via CLI or GUI or elsewhere other than Cisco DNA Center. So why is this important? For larger teams, for example, imagine you have multiple people who may be making changes at your, on your network, even if they're scheduled to be able to track what changes were made. This can be an issue when it's not known who made the changes or change, when the changes were made. So with the config drift feature, you have the ability to see the identity of the person who made the changes what changes were made and where they were made. I will show this in a demo shortly. Of course, if along this, if the config violations are detected, changes can be done quickly to ensure consistency. So I'm going to make changes first on one of my switches and uh, be able to go to DNA Center to be able to see those changes. So this is one of my 9300, if I show version, um, it is, this is a 9300 running, as you see here, running 7.3.3. .3. So I'm going to just make a random change. It's just something in mind. I'm going to uh, create a, a bogus VLAN. Uh, let me say um, uh, VLAN, and I'm going to give it a name, random. VLAN, and I'm going to create interface. Uh, interface, uh, no, I have to exit out of that first. Um, just something simple. Um, VLAN, people. If I can type, um, let me give it a description. Uh, config drift. So I'm just going to quickly save this and I, I can delete that later. Um, and that's the end. So I'm going to go to show you on DNA Center if this VLAN 1324 were added and the interface VLAN 1234 if they were added. Let's now head over to DNA Center. All right, so this is my Cisco DNA Center where that switch that I just configured is um, being managed. So this is when I go to question mark about, I'm running 2.3.2 as I shared. And if I go to uh, figure out that config drift, it's under provision and they go to inventory where you have all the switches and routers and uh, access point and wireless LAN controller. So this is the specific switch that I was working with. And to be able to see the config drift, it's, it's added right here where you are able to click on it. So the existing feature that I mentioned that was available already in 2.2.2 is was the ability to be able to see the change in history where you can choose between two different dates. For example, here April 17th and May 2nd and you can be able to see the changes that were made here in the staff. So what has been added, uh, as you can see here, what has been added part of 2.3.2 is the ability to see out of band changes. And as I mentioned, out of band, it's any changes that were made elsewhere other than through DNA Center. 
So as you can see here, this, if I have the last change highlighted, is remember VLAN 1, 2, 3, 4, uh, that I named in random VLAN, and I gave them an, in, gave it an interface, um, a random interface name as well. If you see here, if I hover over uh, and look at the last changes I made, as you see here, you will see the number of lines that were added. Um, you see the uh, or removed if you deleted something, uh, and I see the login IP address, the um, and the username and the method that I logged into the switch using, it says console. So this can be able to, to really help to track changes. And another thing that you see here, which I don't have anything labeled, you can label your config changes here as well, so that you, where you are able to see it here really well. Hopefully this was a good use of your time. Thanks again for watching.